Hey guys, so today I thought we would go ahead and clean the makeup brushes. I hope that the water doesn't um, come off too, too much in the, the video, but I just wanted to show you how I go ahead and I clean my sponges, my brushes. Um, I usually do it I try to do it once a week, if not every two weeks, depending on how many I've used. Um, inside this little cup here, I have uh, the Black Beauty Blender, Cold Puck, I guess they call it. Um, this is, I love this little thing. It's a beauty blender. You know, you put your powder on. It's just, uh, you can hold it either through the rubber bands or stick your finger in there and do it that way. But, um, so anyway, yeah, I try to do my brushes once a week, every two weeks, depending on how, how much I've used them. Um, I tend to use a new eye brush each time I do a look. Um, I have quite a few, so I have the leisure of doing that, but, um, I'm just like, I don't know. I don't want to put anything dirty in my eye. So I try to use um, different brushes when I can. Uh, if it's the same color, I might use, you know, use the same one. This I got from Sephora. It's their brand. It's called Detox. I like to use this for my sponges. Um, oops. I really massage in there because I use my sponges, obviously, for my foundation, bronzer, sometimes the liquid blush, and uh, I have that iconic London illuminator, which is it's a little too warm for my hands. Um, you know, I put on my face like a foundation, and uh, I use the beauty blenders for that as well. So. I like to just put the shampoo in there, massage it, and you'll see that the suds, you know, will, will be whatever color your foundation is, and you can keep massaging it. They're a pain in the ass, kind of, to clean, but, um, you know, it's got to be done. It's all bacteria. I have... Um, you know, a little dry tail here that I keep everything on. I let it sit here and dry for a little bit, especially when my husband's not home. Um, you know, him coming in the bathroom and washing his hands after, you know, cause we do that. Um, I just let them kind of dry out and then I'll go ahead and I'll put them on my vanity to completely dry before use. This one's really dirty. Um, my beauty blender I use quite a bit. You know, I'll probably get a whole week out of, I don't, I only have two real beauty blenders, but I have a shitload of other ones. Uh, so I try to use like maybe two per week, keep down on cleaning, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, the puck is great. It's very, very expensive. So I try to just use that with my brushes. Um, but to kind of like get the stubborn product out, they have these little pads that come with it. Kind of just rub it around. Let's see where we're at here. After this, I'm going to do a couple of brushes, show you that technique I use. I don't use the shampoo for my, let's see, this still stubborn. I think it's that illuminator. It gives you a great, great glow, but holy moly. So, I hope everybody had a great Easter. Um, we had our company on Saturday. You know, I put up my video to show everybody. 
You know how I host at my holiday. I host Easter and Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve is more more of my Christmas than the actual day. Christmas Day is just, you know, kind of relaxing and catching up on much needed sleep after the prep for that holiday as well. So this looks like it's pretty much clean. Anyway, I hope everybody had a great, great, um, great Easter. Bye. My energy's a little bit low today. I had a um, pretty rough day yesterday. Um, and my brush is over here. This is the first time I'm cleaning this brush. This is the Say. Came with my um, my bronzer. As you can see, it'll turn the color. I'm gonna use this. Just massage the bristles. You don't want to go too far into the ferrule because if you go into the ferrule, you're just going to loosen up that glue that holds the bristles together. So just keep your brushes in a downward motion and gently circulate it um, with the pad. I also got this one. It's from e.l.f. It has a couple of different nubs, you know, fine tooth ridges and then, you know, some bumpy ones here. Um, so. With the face brushes, you know, my liquid foundation and my um, liquid creams and bronzers, or not liquid creams, uh, cream blushes and bronzers and stuff like that. I, I try to, uh, you know, hit it twice with the puck. Um, a great thing too is if, you know, because it is pricey, Grab my tail here. I like to make sure everything's dry. Kind of, you know, take out the excess. And then I lay it flat. Oop, got a little shed there. That's not good. Um, so, yeah. I just discard all of my dirty brushes in here. I don't want to put them in the water because I don't, like I said, I don't want to soak. I dropped my tail. Um, I don't want to get my water in all of my brushes, so I keep them in their dirty container. I'll put it here for on the two-way lid so I can grab them easier. Um, this is a Morphe Ariel collab brush. Is all the hype on TikTok and Insta and all that stuff. Of course, I bought into it after swearing I would never buy another Morphe product ever. And um, some of the brushes are good. And some just straight up suck. Not going to lie. Definitely not worth the money. Not worth it at all. I do like this for um, the powder, blush, and bronzer. They're soft, you know, they're definitely soft brushes, but they're honestly the best brush I've had. I know I'm kind of went in and said I was having a bad day and kind of weird off subject. Um, but best brushes that I find are affordable. ColourPop. Absolutely love ColourPop. Um, I bought the Stone Cold Fox palette. I bought the bundle and it came with the brush roll. So you got all your face brushes and eye brushes in a pretty cool like faux leather roll up case. And um, I, I, I I want to repurchase them. I want to get a uh, another set. I love them so much. Real Techniques is a good one. Luxie is hit or mix. Um, I've gotten to try Luxie through BoxyCharm. So I kind of um, got myself familiarized with that brand there. Uh, this is a ColourPop F28. 
just use it for my my powder. Uh, with these bigger brushes, you really got to pay attention to getting the soap out because a lot of them, you know, absorb a lot of the soap inside. And I've had to, uh, after I thought they were dry, I was like, oh great, you know, I get to use my big fluffy powder brush. And I realized the bristles were still like that soapy feeling. Um, so just make sure you massage it over your hand to remove all of your your soap. It's definitely a pain in the ass once you think your your brush is cleaned out, and then you got to redo it again because um, these bigger ones do take a little bit longer to dry. And again, I'm holding my brush downward and letting the water just hit it, massaging the tip of the bristles so that the water's not getting into the furrow of the brush. This is the, you know, the, um, the handle, the furrow, the bristles, obviously. Um, so I just squeeze out the excess water, shape it back up, and you can tell that it's, you know, back to that nice white bristle. So I got all of the product out of that. Um, messy job but once you do it and you keep up like once or twice a week you or not once or twice a week one or two one to two weeks again guys today is is another bad day for me um so let me just kind of explain this and then i'll get into why i'm in a pretty down mood so I use this little pad. It kind of feels awkward because it's so small. I kind of wish there was like maybe a finger, you know, something to slide your finger in to hold on to. Because when you're using soap and something rubber, it gets a little slippy. So just massage it gently around in circles to get all that soap and product out. I use lukewarm water. I'm not using too hot of water. Um, I'm going to try and speed this up. Probably won't let you see all of my brushes being washed because, you know, longer videos. I'm not editing yet, so I don't want you guys to get bored of me. But So anyway, um, Saturday our company came. My mom, my husband's family, his aunt, his uncle, uh, his cousins. And uh, we had a great time. Everybody enjoyed themselves. Um, the food turned out great. I don't know what happened to my turkey. Uh, I gotta figure that out. I think I just, you know, um, should have cooked it a little bit longer. I mean, it wasn't raw or, you know. <laughs> um, but, you know, we had kibasi. You guys saw the video, so. Again, I appreciate the support for that. Um, so that was Saturday. And uh, yesterday, of course, you know, was, was the actual holiday itself. And, um, you know, it's a pretty sad time for me. You know, I lost my grandmother. The last major holiday I had with her was, uh, was an Easter. And um, today's her her anniversary of her, her leaving me um and she died in 2016 and uh it's tough you know you can't tell someone how long they're they can mourn you know um i'm gonna go ahead and use a little shampoo in this because this is my foundation brush and i kind of feel like it sticks a little bit out. So you can't tell someone how long to mourn someone, you know, um, maybe I'm using the wrong term, mourn, um, I miss her, you know, it's not every day that I'm down and depressed about it, um, I certainly have very fond memories of her and those um, far outweigh the, the grief. Um, you know, I miss her so much. She was my best friend. Uh, you know, I had a mental breakdown in 2005. 
Um, which not only scared me, but it scared my entire family and friends to the point where nobody wanted to be around me. I wasn't, I wasn't a danger to anybody or myself. Just nobody understood what I was going through. I mean, you know, even I didn't understand. So it was, uh, you know, it was a really tough time for me. And, um, I had also been married before, so I was kind of, I was in the middle of a divorce, um, and, you know, it just, there was one thing after another. Um, so my grandmother never left me, you know, she always, she knew that I wanted help. I knew that I wanted help. I wasn't someone that, you know, um, ignored my mental health. I wanted to be who I am. I wanted to be Kimmy again, and I wasn't. And I couldn't figure out what the hell was wrong with me. Um, so it took a lot of soul searching. Let me just get this one out of the way. It's hard to do. And um, a lot of therapy, a lot of trial and error with medication. Um, I had lost over 130 pounds in nine months, um, cause I would just, I would stress walk. Um, I did cut back my calories. I only, eat, um, not calories, carbs. I only eat carbs once a day and I would walk six miles a day because I had to get the stress out somehow. Um, I did smoke a lot of weed, a lot of weed. Um, I don't any longer. I can't, I know that my I'm just not able to handle it. It gets me paranoid and I don't want to deal with that shit. So I don't smoke any weed. Um, but I was at that time. So, you know, that was one of the things that really made me realize how very, very, I always knew she was special, but how special she was, you know, her and my grandfather, um, you know, they supported me and they knew that I was trying to get better and they wanted me to get better. And um, knowing that I had them as support got me through all of that. And you know, it's hard to deal with when you have mental health issues and um, you know, you're diagnosed bipolar and you have severe anxiety, some of which uh, comes out and I can't go places to even the family functions knowing that there there's a house that has my entire family in it who who love me and you know have seen my progress and are excited to see me just I can't go in and I have to go away like I have to leave because my anxiety is too bad you know I have those days and my husband is extremely supportive. Um, he knows when I'm starting to have an episode and he'll take me right out of that situation, no questions asked. So um, it would just, you know, when I think about things, I think that um, being able to pick up the phone and uh, talk to her. is what I miss the most. So, you know, stuff. I had a tough day yesterday. My husband had plenty of leftovers. We have so much candy. So I kind of didn't have to do anything. He was fantastic during the whole Saturday. Uh, Saturday, he made sure everybody's drink was full and did the dishes for me because he knew I put a lot of time and effort into, um, and just, you know, setting everything up. So that was a blessing, but I can't tell I tried to change the subject really fast. Started to get really emotional. See how much shit you put on your face that you have to clean off properly? That's why, 
That's why I don't like using my brushes more than a couple of times. I, I'd rather sit here and clean my brushes than uh, put that stuff, you know, put pretty stuff on with dirty brushes. Anyway, so yeah, you know, these are, I'm okay. I did some things and, you know, I'm cleaning this. This is a project in itself, so trying to keep my mind occupied. Remembering fun times and uh, that sort of thing. But don't, you know, if someone has lost someone that meant a lot to them, the worst thing you can do is say, like, okay, it's been long enough. It's time to, you know, move on from this because, quite frankly, it's ignorant. You know, and you think I want to sit here and my grandmother would be like, you know, yeah, I want you to be like this. No, she, she'd be the first one to say, you know, we're going to see each other again. You, you know, get on with your life. But every once in a while, I can... I get upset and, you know, it takes me down and that's part of my mental illness. You know, you, you just can't get over things. And when you've lost someone that was a um, unconditional support. I'm not saying that my husband's not unconditional. My husband is a, uh, you know, he, he goes by the Bible. Everything... Um, you know, everything that, like that death and, and that kind of thing, life. Um, you know, he looks to the Bible for guidance and that's, that's a beautiful thing. I'm not saying that it's, it, you know, he's wrong. Obviously we wouldn't be together if I didn't feel as though, <laughs> you know, the Bible was right. But, um, I just have a different outlook on on the grieving and uh, so kind of kind of had a little bit of a moment yesterday and I just kind of stayed away locked myself up so I didn't argue with them and I regret it you know but I, I'm one of those that they say in mental health there's four F's fight, flight, fawn I forget the fourth one I'm only two. Fight or flight. So, I'm really good at those two things. But that's the upbringing I had, you know? I don't know. It's for another video. But, uh, yeah, so I kind of felt bad yesterday, you know? Just depressed and, and just didn't want to hear, hear about you know, that I'm doing it wrong. I have feelings and uh, I can't just let them go. And I'm not gonna force myself into letting them go until I'm ready. This brush that I'm doing now is um, the Rare Beauty Concealer Brush. Again, another must have, you know, viral bullshit. I gotta stop doing that. I'm too old to, first of all, I'm too old to be on TikTok. Just kidding. You're never too old to do anything. Um, I don't like it. Don't like the brush. Don't, don't like the brush at all. I could have bought some, uh, I could have bought a whole eye set of color pop brushes. As opposed to this one. It's like 20 some bucks or something like that. Something ridiculous. This is a Luxy as well. I got it in Boxy Charms. Drop Shop. Got it on uh, the gold ones. The gold set. So. That's how I get to learn these, you know, different brushes and what I like about them. If I like them, if I don't. Luxie has a different... I feel like they're like color pop. They always come out with a different brush. Different style and, and that kind of thing. So, 
some are great, some not so much. Like the, uh, like I like the gold one, this mint one. I don't like it. I, I just, I don't know. I'm just not a fan of that one. So, but I really do hope you guys enjoyed your holiday and uh, you were filled with joy, surrounded by love. Um, you know, I made it quite clear that I'm Christian and, uh, you know, the, the whole reason behind Easter is, you know, the resurrection and, uh, it's okay if, you know, this is again where my husband and I differ a little bit. It's okay if you don't believe because your walk is different than mine. And it's, you know, something that I, I'm not a judge. I can't judge. I can help you if, you know, you have questions about Christianity. I can help you better understand things. Um, but if you choose not to believe, that, that's, that's, that's entirely up to you. And it doesn't mean that you're you know, a bad person to me. Um, I don't look at you one way or the other. I judge people on, um, I'm a pretty good read. Like when you're in my presence, I can read you and know if I can joke with you or if I have to be serious. So I pretty much judge people on if you're an asshole or not. You know, if you're not an asshole, then we can kick it. But you're a douchebag, forget it. I, I just, you know, who needs that? Who needs that in your life? So, you know, if you choose not to be Christian or if you're Jewish or Muslim, you're Buddhist, whatever. Whatever. That's, that's your journey. It's not mine to tell you you're right or wrong. And I've always been, you know, the type that, uh, you know, I know, um, being Christian, being Christian sometimes can be difficult because, you know, oh, the invisible man in the sky and there's no such thing. How can you believe that? Your Bible, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you know what? I'd rather take my chance in believing and following now find out later that I was wrong than, you know, thinking that it's all made up and, and all that stuff. And then to come to find out, I'm going to, you be caught up in fire and all that. So that's just my opinion. Again, I don't judge. I don't need anybody to get on me about it. You know, I'm not judging you. Don't judge me. I believe you're not going to change it. God's been with me my whole entire life. I have testimony. You know, again, that's for another video, but plenty of testimony I have. So, um, you know, sorry my energy is off. Just kind of thinking about my grandmother, concentrating on making sure these freaking things are clean. Um, I just wanted to jump on and, and give you a little tutorial on how I clean my brushes. Um, I only have a couple left here, which isn't too bad. Uh, I'm going to use this. I don't want to scratch up my, uh, my bar too expensive. So you can buy that little puck. That little puck, obviously I've used it, you know, a few times before video in this. Um, I think it's 18 bucks and then you can get like a, a really big one for, it's in the 40s. And I, just, I know I'll use it, it's not going to go to waste, but for some reason to pull the trigger on a $40 soap purchase just, 
I just I don't know what it is. I can't do it. Um, but a good trick too, or a good tip is if uh, you know you're a traveler or you know whatever the case may be. When you go to a hotel, you know how they have like the Neutrogena bars that are you know wrapped up and stuff like that. There's usually two or three in the hotel hotel room that you get. Um, they're great. They're fantastic. Um, you know, my, before I started using the, uh, makeup eraser cotton pads, you know, the ones that I can wash in the washer, um, I was using Neutrogena makeup wigs. So, I mean, that's a soap, right? What the hell is the difference? Let's get a bar of soap, get, go to the dollar store, get a container, and there you go. Voila. Makeup brush soap. You already paid for the room, might as well take the soap with you. Nine times out of ten, you probably brought your own soap to uh, body wash. So don't use the bar soap, take it with you. Um, there's been times where I've been desperate and I've actually used my hand sanitizer, or not hand sanitizer, my hand soap. We use soft soap, antibacterial. I think I've only done that once because something was really dirty and it wasn't all of my brushes. So, Eco Tools has pretty good shampoo. I like that. I just ran out of it. That's why I'm on this one now. Figured I'd try this. Um, but yeah, Beauty Blender, Black Puck, um, Hotel Soap. Neutrogena. I wouldn't use anything that has fragrance in it. I don't think there would be any difference. I can't because my sensitivities. So I would imagine that it wouldn't do anything. I just personally wouldn't use anything with, um, you know, any scented soap or anything like that. But uh, yeah, the the little Neutrogena stuff is is pretty good. Um, Nothing wrong with it. Look at this. I'm so excited. I didn't have that many brushes this time. Sometimes I'm here for like an hour. My husband's like, you used all of those brushes? And I was like, well, yeah, it's been two weeks. You know? I mean, hello. I just don't want to put dirty shit on my eyeballs. I'm the only one that uses my makeup, so I'm probably just being a little bit overboard with it. Um... But, you know, I mean, it's, it's just a habit. I don't want to put dirty stuff near my my eyes. They're already bad enough. Jeez Louise. That's all I need. So, all right. This is it. Pete's just this last one. So, the Beauty Blender comes in puck form. They have a shampoo. Um... This is just a little pad you just go around and get me. Takes all the product out. Sephora shampoo. Eco Tools is a great, great product I recommend. Um, like I said, the hotel bar soap, Neutrogena, um, is, is great for, for washing the brushes because the beauty vendor puff is definitely expensive. Um, I don't know if I'll be, re I might repurchase in the future, but for right now, I'm not. Um, e.l.f. little scrub pad helps with the bigger brushes, especially foundation brushes. Um, I usually just rinse this out, let it sit over here in the corner to dry out a little bit before I put it, put it in its little place for hideaway. Um, so yeah, these are just a couple of my brushes and, um, what I recommend. ColourPop, they have great brushes, doesn't matter. They, even their, um, Beauty Blender sponges, they're so soft. They, they're, they're just great. I love them. They have different shapes, um. So if you want to jump on ColourPop, there's always like a sale. Um, 
I know a lot of influencers have, let me just sit here and listen in and not run. Um, I know a lot of influencers have discount codes with ColourPop, so you can save like an additional 10 bucks if you want to jump on like Raw Beauty Christy. Um, she's just the one that can come off the top of my head. Uh, she's a discount code with, with ColourPop. So um, definitely check out their brushes if you're looking for, um, for a new set. I would recommend the Stone Cold, Stone Cold Fox Roll. Uh, I think it's like 30 bucks, but it's everything you need. It's, it's just, um, they're, they're one of my favorite, uh, sets of brushes. Um, I'd stay away from Morphe. It's my opinion. It, you know, everybody's different. They either love it or hate it. I personally am not a fan. So, um, if you have any questions, leave them down in the, in the comment section. I love hearing from you guys. I know there's not too many of us, so... I'm able to um, reply now. Um, please like, share, subscribe, and um, hopefully I'll be getting, you know, some more videos up this week. Um, might do a video on how to, you know, repurpose my Easter leftovers, which will probably have to be tomorrow. Otherwise, I'm not going to use them. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking about all kinds of stuff. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. I'm really glad you were here. Thanks, guys. Mwah.